name is Jacqueline Kim, and today we're going to be talking about orchestra etiquette, and I have my sister here, Juliet, to help me. In orchestra, you want to make sure you have good posture where you're always sitting up nice and straight so that you don't have neck, back, or hip pain. A lot of times our rehearsals are pretty long and our performances can be pretty long, so we need to make sure that our bodies are healthy. A great way to sit on a chair in orchestra is to scoot all the way back so that your lower back and your upper back can touch the back of your chair with your feet flat on the ground. But if your feet can't touch the ground, then it's better to sit at the edge of your chair with your feet flat on the ground. You want to make sure that your left foot is always stable on the ground so that it can support your violin. Your right foot can be a little bit more free and move around a bit more. Personally, I like to sit on the edge, the corner of my chair. So I always keep my left foot stable underneath my violin, and then I bring my right foot back quite a bit. And this way I have more room without the chair getting in my way. In orchestra, you'll have two players per stand. So you'll have a stand partner. The right player is considered outside, and the left player is considered inside. The inside player's job is to turn pages in the music. When you're playing an orchestra, you want to make sure that you can see your music clearly while still being able to see the conductor, so you can adjust your stand up or down. When you're playing with a stand partner, make sure that both of you can equally see the music from one end to the other. A great way to sit is with your chair slightly pointed in, and make sure before you start that you won't hit each other with your bows, so you need enough distance. Make sure you always bring a pencil with an eraser to orchestra. Sometimes when you want to write on the music or if you have a whole movement of just pizzicato, it's nice to set your bow down on the lip of your stand. Make sure the horse hair is always turned out so it's not touching anything. so much for watching. I hope this answered some of your orchestra etiquette questions. If you have any more, please feel free to comment down below. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next Monday.